on, go, go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So it turns out our check-in time is 3 and it's like 11 now and we have nothing to do. So we are sightseeing, so we went to the palace and I'm still in my pajamas, but that's okay. I don't think anyone's paying attention, hopefully. I'm so tired. I got like no sleep, but we're just gonna sightsee and hope that it doesn't rain again. So we're staying near like the structures to get cover. <laughs> Thank you. 
we are finally here. Our hotel room is ready. So I'm so excited to see what it looks like because the hallway looks really nice. Hey y'all, so now that we're more settled down, I think I owe y'all an explanation of the craziness that was going on today. Oh, my hair is a mess. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, that's better, kind of. Um, so pretty much we landed at eight, seven or eight a.m. in Korea. And I got zero sleep on the flight. I have no idea why, but I only slept for like an hour or like half an hour that entire like six hour plane ride. I was exhausted. So we landed, we came to the hotel, just absolutely exhausted. I wanted to just sleep. And then we find out um, that our check-in time isn't until 3 p.m. And mind you, this is at like 7.30 a.m. after, no, no, it was at 8.30 a.m. because the ride from the airport to here, the airport's like in the middle of nowhere and this is like the heart of the city in Seoul. It's like a 45 minute long drive. I was exhausted, just beat after a long plane ride. I just felt gross. Um, I had a long car ride and then we find out I can't actually like take a shower, chill out, sleep, take a nap, no, because we can't check in until 3. So me and my mom have to just check the luggage in at least at the hotel so we don't have to lug it around but we had to bring our bags. So I was like lugging this bag around my and my shoulders were like hurting so much and we just walked around aimlessly. We went to like two coffee shops and then we went to, um, we went to the, I forget what it's called, but I can show a bunch of photos. Y'all probably saw it in the montage, um, the palace and it was gorgeous and I loved it so much, but we spent like mm, an hour and a half, two hours there and I was so tired, but we still couldn't like come back cause it was only 12 by the time we finished. So we had to like go and eat and the food was great by the way. And we just had to kill time and then sit in the lobby here for like two and a half hours. And now we are finally here and I can finally lie down because I am so tired. You guys have no idea how long. And then when we were like, like so close, it was like right before we like came up, the lift just stopped working. So we clicked the up button and it showed like the little light saying that the elevator was there, but the doors weren't opening. So it was just one thing after another, after another. We're finally here and I, I'm just so happy because I, I could not be more exhausted from this. Um, the hotel's nice, um, it has beds, it has a little desk, it has a really nice TV. Um, hi, you guys can see me in the reflection. Um, I'm probably gonna be chilling at the desk watching YouTube, Netflix. It has a pretty nice view too. Um, it's very much of the city, but I still think it's gorgeous. Um, it reminds me a lot of the um, Philippines actually. And the bathrooms are nice too. Here's another mirror. Well, hi, that's, that's me. Hi. Um, this is what I look like when I'm vlogging. No, I don't use a camera. I use my amazing phone. It's it's so great. Wow. I'm so professional. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so now I'm going to just chill out, get into some clean clothes because I wore these on the plane. This is the hoodie I was talking about, by the way, but y'all did see this in my Dubai flight home. But yeah, um, I'm just going to be chilling out because I deserve it, I'm so tired, I'm just gonna lie down, watch Netflix, until I just am not so dead. But yeah, so I'll check in with y'all after that. So I just finished editing a couple of videos that will be uploaded soon, I think this week, or the week that I'm filming this clip, the video that I'm editing is coming out wrap your mind around that and I realized that I'm kind of hungry so I'm so glad that I have the um, cereal I don't have any milk unfortunately but I think I'll just eat the cereal as it is I don't know which one though I might just go with like the cocoa crunch because you can't fail with cocoa crunch okay so I have to figure out how to actually open this I don't have like any sharp objects or knives and my nails I don't think will cut it so I'll just... Huh. 
Okay, I did it. Um, very gracefully, um, very ladylike. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I opened it on the wrong side, but that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna try to keep it organized. So it, okay, well that's not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna move the other boxes to the side. They can just be there. This I will probably just throw away because I don't need it. There's a trash can right next to me, thank God. And yes, this is my little lamp. It's so cool. It has like different modes, like wait, wait. Off, which is like horrible because I'm so like overlit. It's like I can tell you guys a creepy story. And then there's one, two, and three. It just has different settings. I thought that, that was cool. Lighting's still not great, but you know, we're gonna work with what we have. Um, so I have this. Oh, I used to love Cocoa Crunch so much when I was all, like in the Philippines. I used to always eat it, but I actually haven't had it in a while since then. Oh, it comes in such a tiny little pack, and I love how small the box is. I don't think I talked about how small it is. It's so cute. This is it next to my face. It's so adorable. So, yeah. This is like the actual cereal. You guys, I can't open things. We don't talk about that. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Oh, I used to love these so much. Okay. <laughs> Some lovely ASMR for you guys. All right, so the main character, he's like a koala dude, right? That's him there. And the little like cereal bits, if I can find like a full piece, is like a little koala head. It's like him, it's like his little face. I don't know how to show you guys. It's like that, you see? Like up here are the two ears. And then there's like this main circle where the face is. That's just like a little cool fix. I don't know if y'all can see it. If it's not clear enough, just search up a photo of Coco Crunch and you'll see it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it literally says on the package, this dude's name is Coco. Makes sense. Didn't know that. That didn't really click in my brain, but that's okay. This dude's Coco and it says that it's Coco shaped. So yeah, you see the little ears and the little face. It's so cute. Yeah, this one you can see it a bit better on. This little guy. I feel like a beauty, um, beauty YouTuber. Um, but I'm not. I'm just eating cereal on my channel for 300 subscribers. Which, by the way, oh my god, you guys. I don't know how I didn't even mention this. We hit 300 subscribers? What is that? Like, um, like I landed yesterday and I check it and it says 300 and I'm like, what on earth? How is this possible? There are like 300 people out there who are subscribing to this content, to me eating Cocoa Crunch at a poorly lit desk. Um, while talking about absolute nonsense, but y'all are here for it. And I am so grateful to you guys. Um, I would also like to point out, this is like bragging rights, I get this, I'm sorry. Um, yes, this is all you guys. Thank you for at least, thank you guys for letting me get here. <coughs> I choked on Coco. <coughs> oh no. <laughs> I didn't choke on Coco. I choked on the cereal. <laughs> oh God. I could not have worded that more poorly, and this little dude could not have ruined my moment more. <clears throat> I was trying to be all sentimental with you guys. <coughs> then I had to choke on him, on his cereal. I, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna need a second, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna need <laughs> I am back. Hi. Um... You know what? Whatever. I'm just gonna pick up where I left off. Um, this is a mess, but thank you guys so much. I know that the milestone may not be the biggest thing ever, but to me it is. Like, I'm really, really grateful for all of you. And I wanna point out that I started this channel, I think March 27th of this year. So March 27, 2022. Um, Yesterday, um, which is, no, 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 yeah, no, yesterday was um, June 27th, and that was before I took off for my flight, 
and June 27th, I hit, or we hit, 300 subscribers on this channel. Meaning, um, in three months, we hit 300 subscribers. And I think that's awesome because it's like 100 a month. And if we keep this up, I just, I'm so excited to continue making content for y'all and, and continuing to spread just, I don't know, just positive messages to people and just content that is hopefully at least minorly, um, uh, not educational, um, entertaining. I hope it's just like, I, I can't explain it. I don't know. I just, it means a lot to me. Thank you. And I'm so grateful that we're growing and especially so fast because this means, I just have to reword my stuff. Um, but this just means that I can continue to make content for people. And since we're growing at such a fast rate, more and more people are able to get the good vibes from these videos and hopefully at least brings a little bit of a smile to their face and that's all i really want to do for y'all you know make good content that i enjoy making a lot and if it makes at least a couple people happy then i'm happy i'm really grateful to all y'all and um it's honestly insane to think that in three months we hit 300 subscribers that's like 100 a month pretty sure i already said that i'm kind of rambling here of course it wasn't actually like 100 100 100 but I don't know, I'm just really grateful to y'all. So that's my little um, spiel here. Um, it was kind of a mess, but we got to the point <laughs> eventually. And just really, you guys, thank you so much. Um, I really have to think of something special to do for y'all. And I do have a surprise for you guys, um, which I guess can count as kind of my present to y'all. I don't, I don't know. Um, but it's definitely a surprise, um, and it's something that I have to wake up super early tomorrow morning for, and I'm really excited for it. Um, I can't give away too much, but it's just a big surprise, um, and I hope y'all enjoy it as much as I do. I actually have a couple surprises coming up this break, um, this, like, uh, vacation, which I've talked to you guys, um, which I've said before in, like, a couple other clips in another video. But yeah, I just wanted to really quickly like say that I appreciate y'all so much and that we hit 300, which is crazy. And I don't know how I didn't mention that sooner, but I'm really, really happy that we did. Um, so thank you guys. Y'all should try Coco Crunch. It's amazing. It's so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna eat some of this and also reapply some of my nails because a couple of them, unfortunately, a lot of them on this hand, I only have one left, um, fell off during the plane ride, so I'm gonna have to reapply all of those. First, I think I'm gonna eat this. <laughs> okay, so first off, I just stuck the little jelly stickies on my nails, um, the nails that need coating, and I'm just gonna leave it there so it can just stick on a bit better, so that when I pull the tab out, it doesn't just bring the whole thing up, it only brings the plastic part and the sticky stays on. And while that happens, I will finally start getting to my honey stars. This is kind of a, let's see how Alicia can fend for herself and find her own food um, in the hotel room because her mom is out visiting friends and I realized that, no, she's just like, she's not gone, she's just out for dinner. And I realized that there's no food panda here a bit too late, so... I have no way of getting food and I don't know where anything is like I can't just walk at like 10 it's only 6 wait it says it's 552 I thought it was 6 no not 6 I thought it was 10 p.m. Y'all, my internal clock is just broken because of this morning, just all the crap we went through. Like, at 3, it felt like it was 6, and now it feels like it's 10. But it literally says 5.52 a.m. Like, boom. No. Yeah, sorry, 6.52. That makes a bit more sense, but still. I can't believe it. it's like... Anyway, um, yeah, I closed the blinds, so I can't really tell what's going on outside. But now I'm gonna get my sugar stars. What was I saying? I can't remember. I can never remember. Oh, yeah, I don't know where anything is, and I can't just, like, go and get food because I don't know where anything is. And I don't want to get lost and or kidnapped. So, uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for my mom to bring home leftovers. Or, um, 
I'm just gonna like, I'm just waiting for my mom to bring home leftovers and I'm also just snacking on whatever's here. So I'm gonna go with sugar stars. Um, whoa, look at that. I opened it so easy all by myself without the use of my teeth. <gasps> oh my, okay, y'all, I kid you not, I have not had this since elementary school. Oh, this is amazing. I really hope it's as good as I remember because I haven't had this since elementary school. They're like these little puppy stars. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all, that is amazing. It even has that little artificial aftertaste to it that I remember so vividly. I'm so happy. This is great. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Yeah. Hope y'all are enjoying this amazing ASMR. But yeah, I will finish this up, continue watching YouTube, and I'll check back in with y'all when I start like peeling this off and putting the sticky things on, or the actual press on nail. And yes, I reuse my press on nails. When I buy a pack, I don't just like use it once and throw it away. If it like falls off, um, I, if it falls off, right, usually there's a bit of this like sticky left on this. So what I actually do is I just like scrape off the sticky and then just reapply it because I don't want to create a bunch of waste, but I don't want to have acrylics. So I just reuse them. Because if anyone's saying, hey, why are you using single use um, uh, press-ons? I'm not. I'm like reusing them multiple times until they get like bent or broken or I can't use them anymore. And even my other press-ons that I took off, like my heart ones, for example, I still have them. I just felt like changing up the design, but I still have them in a little pack. So I can just go back and reuse all of them. So don't worry, I'm not wasting anything. Um, but yeah, so I'll be eating the sugar star. Sugar stars, honey stars. I keep calling them sugar stars. But yeah, and peeling off the plastic thing, super satisfying. So I will show y'all that when we get there. Okay, so it has, it's done like sticking on. So I'm gonna start peeling them off. It's so satisfying, especially the sound. I don't know if y'all can hear that. I'm gonna play this back in editing and if you guys can't, I'm gonna like make it louder. If not, I'm sorry. There's just gonna be really loud music over it to make up for it. Three, two, one. Oh wait, three, two, one. Okay, there we go. So I have the sticky pads. It was probably dumb of me to take all of them out at once. Anyway, too bad. Um, okay. First, I will stick on the thumb. So, like I said, you're just gonna wanna put it at a 45 degree angle, like that, and then stick it on. And then I'm actually gonna have to hold this here for a minute. Okay, so I'm very confused because I have three more fingers to stick the nails on, right? But I only have two like nails so i have no clue where the third one went so i'm gonna have to go look for that i will be right back i don't know where it went but that's okay i will deal with that when i come to that <laughs> but that means i have to figure out which one this is it has like a little number on the top it says five middle finger also says five so i'm guessing this is for the middle finger okay so i don't know where um it went the good thing is I did actually end up bringing the entire pack just in case something like this happens, like one falls off and I'm not able to find it. So I can probably just find something that's close in size and I can just use that instead. All right, so I ended up finding a replacement and actually this size fits better than this one does. So whenever this falls off, I'm gonna replace it with another one of this size because they come in twos, obviously. But yeah, that's cool. <laughs> At least I was smart enough and brought like the whole pack of them. And since this one fits better, that means that it'll last longer. So that's good. And then I just have to hold it for a minute. Okay, so I finished up all my nails. I fixed them all and I finished a couple snacks. So this is gonna be the end of my day one in Korea vlog. Um, unless my mom comes home with Korean barbecue fried chicken, then I will have a clip of that. <laughs> but if not, um, this is the end of the video. Um, yeah, and obviously I'm gonna be vlogging every single day that I'm here. So it won't just be this one video. I don't know why someone would think that, but I will be vlogging every day here. And I have a lot of amazing surprises that I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, a lot of great ideas for content to do here. 
So I'll see y'all in my next video. And if y'all wanna make sure that you don't miss those surprises and do watch my next vlogs, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon just to make sure that you get notified whenever I post the video. So it turns out we ordered the chicken and the guys downstairs, so I'm going down and getting it. So I lied, that is not the end of the video, my bad. Successfully got the food, so I'm so excited to try because I didn't realize that there would be this much. My mom actually ordered it, so I didn't even know it was coming. But we have it. Ooh, and that is you guys. Gotta make sure I close the lock just to be safe. Have the food ready for a taste test. Ooh. Okay. I was low-key worried that I'd get locked out of the house because uh, out of the hotel because I'm kinda dumb, but figured it out and I'm still in the room. So <laughs> we're good. Okay, now I'm so excited to try this out. So um, tape together. Oh no, it's just tied to music. Okay, so I'm not really sure what's in it. I have this little bag. I think maybe there's like fries or like maybe onion rings because it seems really light and puffy. So I think onion rings in this. I don't know what this says, but it has a little heart. So I'm guessing it's a really cute note. So whoever wrote that, thank you so much. Um, I, it honestly could say anything, but I like the little heart. Um, I'll probably run this through Google Translate later just to see what it says, but, um, the heart. I like the heart. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this out. Whoa, this is a lot of chicken, you guys. Oh my god. Oh no. This is, like, huge. And then there's also chicken radish pickle. What? Don't know what that is and then there is some barbecue sweet sauce okay i'm definitely still gonna try this i just have no clue what it is oh oh, oh no i figure out how i'm gonna stand y'all up okay cool finally got myself stood up so this i'm gonna save until the end because i am most curious about it and kind of worried about it so i'm just gonna put that aside Okay, I have all my stuff here. I'm just gonna scooch the chair. Cool. <laughs> so first, I think I'm gonna try this one. I have no idea what's in it, so we're just gonna open it up really quickly. Huh, I have no idea what that is. It's like these little, oh, oh came right out. It's like these little thingies. I don't know what it is. It looks like a corn dog or like, it looks like a corn dog, but it's like kind of puffy, crinkly. I'll just try it. <laughs> oh, mm -mm. Tastes good. I don't know, it has like this filling in it. Um, yeah, it has like this filling in it. I'm not sure what it is. It tastes fine. It's sweet, actually. But I don't know what it is. But I like it. It tastes good. And I'm just happy that I tried it, at least. And you know what? Actually, I think I'm just going to try this to get it out of the way because I'm a little worried about it. Use the chopsticks. Oh, they gave me two chopsticks. Nice. Okay. I'm just going to use the chopsticks that they gave me. All right. I didn't think about how I was going to open the wrapping. Oh. They're smart. It has like a little like pull tab here, so that's how I open it. Oh, I just really don't want it to spill everywhere. Actually, I should be facing the camera while I'm doing this. I don't have okay. I don't have a great sense of smell, even since I was younger. I've never really had a good sense of smell. It's not COVID. My grandfather can't smell that well either, but I can pick up kind of like a sweet-ish, like vinegary tinge to this. I'm gonna go for a smaller piece here. I feel like it'll be crunchy and maybe like a little vinegary. It's um, the chicken radish pickle. Like radish pickle is just like pickled radish, but I don't know what the chicken is. Let's try it. Mm. It's just pickled radish, okay. 
the chicken is what worried me and now i'm so excited to try it so for reference this is how big the box is it is huge and it has a cute little note because it has a heart nut i still don't know what it says i hope it's a nice note <laughs> i'm sure it is um okay it has like a little bit of tape right here i don't want to ruin the pretty box but I don't know how I'm gonna get into the tape because I can't use my nails because I like just stuck them on, you guys saw that. So it'll like, I don't want it to fly off. Maybe I can like stick a chopstick in there. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm struggling. Okay, moment um, of truth, if I can wait. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. This is the moment of truth. Oh my god, you guys, look. That looks amazing. Oh my, there's so much chicken. That looks so good. Okay, so we have the two different flavors. We have the plain, I guess. And then we have, I think, it's honey barbecue. It's all nice and sticky and it looks so sweet and good. So I think this one I'm gonna try first. Y'all, that is amazing. The flavor and then like the crunch. It was like biting into a honeycomb at first. Like that consistency of biting into a honeycomb. And then it's just chicken, it tastes so amazing. If y'all are ever near a Korean barbecue place or a Korean fried chicken place, or I don't know where you get this, but if you ever see this on the menu, you should 100% get it. Um, I think it's just called Korean fried chicken. I think so. I'm sorry. Y'all can correct me in the comments. Um, but it is so good and you guys should definitely try it. Now there's a big box of this. So I'm obviously going to have leftovers for tomorrow morning, which is great. Breakfast is set and done. But I'm probably just going to eat this and watch Netflix now. You guys, it even came with just, just fried. It isn't even chicken. Yeah. But yeah, I think that this is a really nice note to end on. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.